Heard clear the transom. Control copies. Uh, bridge copies. All stations, that's uh, Atlanta, Cure of Nautilus. Control copies. Bridge copies. This is an audio slate, an audio slate for dive H2000, Herx 1000th dive. UTC time is 18, 17, 0, 0. Mark. is that? seen a couple of them. Tuna. Look down a little bit. Oh, not that much. That's not right. Oh. Hi, <laughs> oh, you your sonar on, right? Do I have my sonar on? Yeah, I have my sonar yeah. on.
All right. Beautiful midwater today. Comp's still good. Gage is still good. Grandpa's still good. Things are looking positive so far. Nice. Uh, control van deck, that's all stop 5 0. All stop at 5 0, copy. Okay, control, you have, you have control. Don't go that way. <laughs> Don't go that way. Yes, control Good taking morning control. to you too. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, alright. Roger. Looking this good. time we're not hauling in, and we, wow, we look at all those shot? fish. We can hold ship position, yes. Thanks. It's amazing. Voyage control. Uh, what speed uh, Control, this is the bridge. Can we please hold position? Uh, yeah, copy that. Hold position. 25 to start. Roger. Haul, hauling out at uh, Pay, 25. Pay out, haul Paying in. out. Paying out at 25. Once you've got a sec there. Can you sort out why the Sonardine beacons are wrong? It'll be on the Sonardine page. The depths are wrong again. We saw that issue earlier in the cruise, I don't remember why. They might be on transponder instead of responder. Are they res responder? Okay, then there's another problem. I don't know what it was, we fixed it earlier in the cruise. Roger, paying out at 25. Wow. All right, I think we can speed up to 30. Roger, speeding up to 30. <laughs> Not that fast. Oh, Roger. That's not right, yeah. There we go. I hope that'll work better. Roger. Uh, nope. Oh my gosh. Are you rogering me? I'm trying to roger you, but... I didn't say anything. Oh. Um, Atlanta depth right there. 106. Looks good. Or low. That's that one. It, they won't be this quite the same. But uh, they look close. This will 10 meters out. The speed all right? Do you have 30? A uh, little slower. Let's see if <laughs> we can get it in a little bit more without it spiking. Yeah, it's not, it's kind of slippy too. Yeah. is fine. Roger. We're not going that far. Oh yeah, our whole <laughs> thousand meters of blue water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're like stuck at these depths. 
they've been that pretty much the same. Oh no, no, I'm. Never mind. They're about ten meters behind. Okay, she's good. Ground fault's good. Right. Wincher looks the same as it always been. What does? Winch looks the same. Yeah. Uh. Cool. Well, hello. Welcome to Dive H2000. H2K. Hello. Hello. Are you guys H2000. ready for us ready to for join? You. Yeah. To join your little party up there? Appreciate the patience waiting at the entrance to the party. The yeah. bouncer kept you out. I mean, every time you said, oh no, I started to panic. So. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did I say that? You said something like that when oh, the sonar no. was acting up. You were like, that doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Probably see those things off SPL because people tend to catastrophize. I just say it a lot. I just whine a lot. Chat Good's after up. hours gets wild. Catastrophize. <laughs> Chat after dark? Chat after hours? What's yeah. going on? Is that a good word, Dave? I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Of or pertaining to catastrophe. <laughs> oh, we're getting the sparkles now. Ooh, spicy cam. So, everybody viewing at home, welcome to the special dive, the 1,000th dive of Hercules from the EV Nautilus. I wish we had like little, like, you know those little um, blowy uh, like party things that like the little thing rolls <laughs> out and it goes <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had one of those. Yeah, that'd be nice. Paula kind of does that. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is a joyous occasion. We have to be nice to each other. <laughs> For once. <laughs> For once. For Especially once. tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I'll just stay in this corner, guys. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Nobody puts Baronki in the corner. <laughs> well, that, didn't, that didn't last long. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome everybody. Um, we're seeing a lot of congratulations in the chat. Thank you all. Um, I'll be reading some of the, the nice messages y'all are sending shortly, but we can do introductions. You know, my favorite part. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Stephanie Weinger, a natural science and children's illustrator coming to you on the EV Nautilus as a science communication fellow. Does the front row want to go first? Do they? They do. <laughs> Okay. Elias, Let's start us off. Let's go. Go, man. Hi, everyone. <coughs> I am Elias Adidion, and um, I am a student at the University of New Hampshire, majoring in uh, motion engineering, motion mapping, and um, on board the EV Nautilus, I am a mapper and also a navigator. Yeah, so welcome. Trevor? Herc, on board. Trevor is Herc. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I should probably say something else, shouldn't I? We're currently at 258 meters. <laughs> awesome. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Annabelle. Uh, I'm the Atalanta pilot and the ROV intern. Um, when I'm not on the EV Nautilus, I'm an undergraduate at Oregon State University studying ecological engineering. Go Beavs! Go Beavs! Dave Robertson, lead video engineer on this expedition. Uh, really excited to be on the uh, dive number 2000 at Herc's 1000th dive. Uh, I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. 
sometimes from Oregon, and when I'm not on Nautilus, I'm retired. Back row. Hello everyone, I'm Maronke Harris. I'm science manager in training on board Nautilus. I'm also in the data logger seat, so I take care of the sampling and everything that we see during Herc's 1000th dive. And off the Nautilus, I'm a PhD student at University of Victoria. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Hi everybody, my name is Paula. I'm part of the science team in this expedition about the ED Nautilus. I'm also very excited about this 1000 dive of ERC. Um, out of the ED Nautilus, I'm a postdoctoral researcher uh, studying biology, evolution, uh, genetics, and taxonomy of squad lobsters in the MCC Harvard University. Uh, I think Paula excited is an understatement for this dive. <laughs> but I'm Rob Colony. I'm uh, at the University of Rhode Island, researcher there. I'm uh, the watch lead for the magnificent 8 to 12, and the geology lead for the expedition. So please, respect the authority. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Herc's 1000th dive. If you are sick of hearing that, um, then deal with it, because you'll be out. hearing it yeah. a bunch more times. Um, we are exploring the eastern edge of the Johnston Atoll. This is going to be the shallowest dive of the expedition so far. We're going down to about uh, 1,250 meters and making our way up a ridge to about, how many meters, like 200 something? 200 meters. Yeah, so it's going to be the shallowest dive so far. Um, we're expecting to see a lot of cool things, um, just looking for biodiversity, geological, uh, formations. Uh, if science kind of wants to talk more about what they think we'll be seeing. Uh, we're going to see reef material. Carbonate reef, old coral reefs, probably some uh, pieces that have fallen down, some debris, some coral debris, another part of the family member. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't expect to see any basalt today. There might be a little manganese coating, but we'll see. Interesting, no basalt at all? I don't think so. Even at the 12,000, or sorry, 1,200? No, I think this is all coral debris. Oh. I could be wrong. Paula, what about? So the fauna we are going to see is going to be very different uh, to the fauna we have seen so far in the dives in this expedition. We expect to see a lot of corals. Uh, a lot of diversity of corals, especially paramuricates and also uh, stony corals, probably uh, of different but different species. And also, we expect to to see a lot of species of fishes that we haven't seen before in this expedition: sponges and crustaceans, mollusks, and yeah, it's going to be pretty different. And we, I'm excited about this. <laughs> you know, I think I, we also need to note the tremendous job the Herc ROV team did. did uh, getting us back in the water. They worked tirelessly over the last little couple of days to get us back in the water. So thanks a lot, Trevor and the team. Thanks, thanks Rob. Trevor and and the team. thanks, yeah, the team was the team was great. They worked really well together, put in some extra hours and uh, got us back to dive ready. So thanks to them. Thank you, Trevor. Thanks everybody. You were there, Annabelle? I'm kidding. <laughs> I saw you busting your hump out there. Even as an intern, Annabelle gets to do a lot of the work, right? Yeah. Um, I hope I can be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, do you have anything to say about your experience so far as the ROV intern? Uh, really, it's been amazing. Um, yeah, 
I'm, I'm just so happy that I've had the privilege to be on board and be working on the RV and piloting and everything. Like, it's, it's been really awesome. Uh, I'm super grateful for the opportunity. We've got some really sweet messages coming in about um, people's memories with uh, Hercules throughout the years. Um, feel free to put in the chat any, you know, f um, joyous, impactful, fond memories you have of watching um, Hercules dive from the EV Nautilus over the years, and we will try to read them out. But this one says, Hi everyone, congratulations on the thousandth dive. I first came across the EV Nautilus on YouTube and found one of the dive's highlight videos. I've been hooked ever since. Um, this person has chronic pain and other issues due to a genetic disorder, and watching these dives makes them feel like they can travel to another world with you. That's also, wonderful. they've learned so much from watching our dives, especially since they are not from a science background. I also really love the talk from the crew. You make me laugh with your commentary and observations. I especially love the Canadian talk, the other days as I am one. <laughs> Sending love from Nova Scotia. Aww. Yeah, Nova Aww. Scotia. Nova Scotia is great. Yeah. yeah, I mean, one of the great things about Nautilus is what it allows people with, you know, any sort of disability that wouldn't be able to go to sea normally. They get to experience this live and real and just the same time we are. So it's really incredible uh, operation and feat that they can do this. Yeah, it's amazing to have the chance to have a window uh, to this special world that otherwise you couldn't imagine that exists, you know? Everybody can be an aquanaut right from their very own home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's where I started out and now I'm here. <laughs> Time to stop that program. <laughs> no. Rob, we're being nice oh, today. Yes, right. <laughs> Rob's just firing shots in all directions today. <laughs> Ruthless. They're all in good spirits. They come with confetti. <laughs> Anybody measure the time it takes uh, to do a full lap, like, of the video getting to shore, someone watching it, and then able to write back in? And I want to say it was about 45 seconds. So it's wow. pretty yeah. quick. That's pretty near live. It's, I think, does anyone know what the lag time is? Like, eight seconds or something? Dave, do you know? It's more than that. It's okay. uh, maybe on the order of 15 seconds okay, for, the, for the web enough. streams. Yeah. YouTube may be about the same. I think the 45 seconds accounted, uh, accounted for both directions and someone writing in. Yeah. Um, another, another nice message, also from the coast of Canada. Oh, wait, no, never mind. They just yeah. mentioned Canada. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they said, congrats, Hercules is my first live stream ROV, and a girl always remembers her first. After 10 years, there are lots of favorite memories. Most notable, intensely staring at the screen for a large yellow square object. <laughs> are you sure that wasn't Hercules? It was, <laughs> on his longest dive. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are mentioning that. They love that. Ah. I'm what, glad the longest it was, dive? Yes. That it was a good memory for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Van Data Lab, are you going to get a chance to be a power on um, the cinnamon can? Jason, super chatter Jason, hello, yes. says my favorite part of Nautilus Live is feeling included. Camera's on. Um, through the chat and helping you ID animals you might not know. Thanks, ROV Jason. <laughs> <laughs> super chatter ROV Jason. Super ROV. <laughs> Super Jason RV, chat. Jason Chat. Super Chad. It's a little spiky thing under this bench, and I ain't gonna stand for it. A little spiky thing? Yeah. What's that? It's mildly annoying me. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. 
a question was asked, how has chat helped scientists in the van? Um, I don't know, like, sometimes chat will, like, um, people, there's people on chat that have been watching for years, and they, you know, they know a lot about the species, and they help me more than they help our scientists. Our scientists are very knowledgeable, but sometimes they'll, um, like, write down the word that the scientists are saying, and I'm able to read it and repeat it better oh, than just one. hearing it, so... You are very helpful, chat. You also help facilitate conversation, which would be really hard if we didn't have you. Oh, Christine Virginia said, I discovered Nautilus about six years ago and it has made me so happy. I looked forward to this. I look forward to every expedition. My fondest memory from last year and the spoonworm discovery. Love hearing you say, what is that? Are we like halfway through blue water now? Yeah. Wow. Pretty much. Chat says, where is the chat? <laughs> you, you're <laughs> swimming in it. The <laughs> you're swimming in it. Chat, you cannot see yourselves. Um, you can just send us messages and I will read them and either repeat them or ask the question or sometimes I miss the chat messages because we're busy watching the screens. It ain't a mirror, bud. It ain't a mirror. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> There's a really cool looking jellyfish in Atalanta for like half a second. Neat. Annabelle, your dad's in the chat. Hi, Dad. He says, congratulations, Hercules and crew. Also, Paula, your lab says we love you, Paula. Oh, Yay, Paula. Good chat. <laughs> I think my dog rode in. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah, he says, work, work, work. <laughs> A lot of marine snow today. Mm -hmm. Snowy over here at Johnston. Annabelle, chat likes your voice and wants it to be used for a digital assistant, like a Siri voice. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> that would be the only thing it says. <laughs> the Siri, only thing can you do the thing? The no, thing please it don't do that. Say will be oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> Yeah, you can see with all this marine snow why all the atoll increases the uh, production here. Why is that? Uh, it probably causes some upwelling of the nutrients from the region. What's up, Well, that's just the, it's the currents going through the area. It How can't, much? What's it, up with you? <laughs> uh, So oftentimes you get upwelling on one side of the island or the atoll and downwelling on the other, depending on the prevailing currents. How fast would that uh, upwelling be going? Would would I feel that? Well, I, we could probably see it in the uh, in the ADCP data if you're looking at it. Oh, okay. If we had it running, you get some vertical velocities. I mean, I think they said the current here is about what 0 0.3, 0 0.4 knots. This morning, Trevor? Mm, that's a question for Nav. From the DP? Oh, oh from the ADCP? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can check. See if there's any vertical flow there. We got chocolate covered coffee beans. Dave don't, strikes again. Don't eat too many. <laughs> nope, not me. I was just passing them on. Uh, this chat will be buzzing. Coffee and I are not friends. Who who provided Thank these? You. Trevor. Oh, Trevor. Thanks, Trevor. 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 Oh boy. Wow. Thank you. We're all going to have black specks in our teeth for the watch. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, oh, a good thing for this lighting, we can't really see them. Dave, if you want to send them back. I like this that this watch always feeds each other. <laughs> it's great, nice. So about, about <laughs> 10 to 15 beans is equivalent to a cup of coffee, so just be aware of that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I usually eat more than those when I eat these. I have two. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> um, uh, there was a question in the chat from a new viewer. Welcome. Welcome. You say you're in the van. Is it just a room somewhere um, beneath the ship? Wait, where'd it go? Oh my god, too many people are messaging. It's just okay. a minivan? Is, it, is it just a room somewhere beneath the ship? I imagine it's not an FBI style van somewhere. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> be so cool. I mean, we uh, always say like the inside of the van on interactions, they're always like, it looks like NASA. It's uh, actually purple and has flowers on the outside of it. <laughs> it's the mystery machine. There's a wizard on there, too. It's a yeah. mystery machine. And a unicorn. I, I keep hearing Chris Farley saying, in a van down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> so, new watcher, new chatter. We're in the control van, which is located at the top of the ship, actually. What is it, like three shipping size containers? Yeah. Size rooms yeah, put three, together? Three tall shipping containers. Um, you can see it in channel three, or if you're watching the quad, um, there's a view of it live. That's all of us sitting down, looking at screens. Eating coffee beans. Mm-hmm. Is there any photos on the website of the outside of the control vans? So um, people can know what they look like for context? There's definitely photos of the ship, which if you're looking at the ship at the top between like the big blue thing and that like golf ball looking satellite ball um, you'll see a white rectangular structure and that is the control van someone's in the cabinet what are they doing looking um, at the ground fault everything is good <laughs> you scared me again <laughs> um, another comment says congratulations on your thousands five Let's party. But they also have a question. What is the rate of descent for Hercules and Atalanta? I think I know that. Can I say? Yeah. 30 meters per minute in descending. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? ROV? Uh, we're going 27 right now, but yeah, okay. pretty much. Speak for yourself. I'm going 30. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look it's out, a rain oh, demon out. here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, ch chat. I forgot to put you as available for oh. pressure. So the the current is about 3.3 3 knots. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Is there a vertical velocity? Um, I'm not sure. How would you know? Yeah, that's what I'm. <laughs> well, it, it, and, and we're so where they do show the vertical velocity on the ADCP. I can't, I can't tell from here. I don't know this software that well. Can you can you see? Then Data Lab Tripox is online. Look at the panels behind the three panels. There should be east, easting, northing. Got it, Tim. Thanks. In vertical. No, I can't see it. That's okay. Yeah. I guess this is kind of set up differently. Um, one chatter says their wife wants them to do chores. So they want to know how long the dive's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> the dive is going to be about 12 hours. <laughs> so um, we, we can give, give them a, an official excuse not to do chores today. Yeah, I'd say you got 12 hours to not do chores. After that, you're on your own. <laughs> Might possibly be on his own. 
Advice from a uh, long-time married guy. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Yeah, I agree. We had an actual oxygen minimum zone today that lasted for quite a while. Wow. Wow. Yeah, uh, it was 24 micromoles per liter, and it lasted for 100 meters from 634 to 735. Mm. So that's interesting. A lot of my organic matter in the first uh, layers of water, so a lot of uh, bacterial activity. <laughs> interesting. Another question in the chat, is Hercules attached to the ship at all times? Um, yeah, Hercules is attached to a 30 meter tether that is attached to our second ROV, Atalanta. And Atalanta is always attached to the ship. We hope. Um, the chat wants to know, ROV pilots, is it difficult to pilot Herc and Atalanta? Uh, okay, I'm Atalanta pilot. I, I don't think like the controls necessarily are super difficult, but keeping track of everything definitely is. Um, at any given time, there's probably at least four or five things that you have to like always keep an eye on and keep track of while actually piloting the vehicle and that can definitely get overwhelming sometimes but you know practice makes perfect or progress practice makes progress yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? How difficult is to pilot Herc in, in uh, Atalanta? Uh, the hardest part is not the moving the joysticks around. The hardest part is keeping situational awareness and watching the 14 different screens up here. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think that's the big difference. People ask, like, oh, if you're good at video games, are you a good Herc pilot? Like, I don't personally play video games, but... Um, yeah, I think the big difference from video games to this is you're not watching that many different things during a video game. You're kind of focused on your, your main screen. camera equivalent. Yeah, your main screen. Instead of your sonar and your nav screen and your gauges and your ground faults and your heading and your ship moves and et cetera, et cetera. It's not like Subnautica. <laughs> if anybody's wondering, it's not like that. So you can't text and drive is what you're saying? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you should is, never text and drive. What is what you said, Subnautica? What is that? It's a video game where that it's it's an ocean exploration themed video game where oh. you drive around in a little submersible. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm surprised okay. I've never heard of that. I'm sure but the you gamers in the chat may be familiar you with. You have to build the submersible on, because you're on an alien Yeah, planet. you're like stranded on, on an alien ocean planet. So you have to build the submersible before you can drive around in it. So you have to like go and collect materials from the bottom. <laughs> and there's all these like Kay. crazy creatures. How do you collect materials from the bottom if you don't have a submersible? You have a little dive suit with oxygen. Mm. You're free diving at first. Yikes. <laughs> but wow. it's all like very sci-fi like you it, know. it's a beautiful game and it's huge like the the amount of like world building they put into it is crazy also trevor you could go in caves in that game <gasps> oh mm -hmm. wow <laughs> by the way today maybe we are finding caves right if they're out there i'm sure trevor will find them. <laughs> i won't be on watch <laughs> oh <laughs> We're well, safe. Too bad. <laughs>
so stay tuned because <laughs> later probably we're finding case. You, you need to deliver on the promise there, you know that. Uh, <laughs> No, on previous dives in this area with Hurl, they did report caves. Not sure how deep they are, if they're continuous or just little uh, overhangs, kind of like what we saw on the last cruise, the last dive. So I think if ROV piloting were made into a video game, I don't think it would be a very, like, great video game. No, it'd be terrible. <laughs> it would suck. Um, I, I, unless you like stressful situations for prolonged periods of time. I was going to say, it'd be stressful, but not thrilling. <laughs> there is a video game for ROV piloting. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called Sub ROV mm -mm. Underwater Discoveries. It just came out last year, and it's available on Steam. Huh. <laughs> Wow. And you need four, uh, sorry, you need uh, ten monitors to play it. <laughs> <laughs> and you need the little craft arm uh, <laughs> controller. Yeah. And a bunch of people around you making comments. Hey, you should be going <laughs> over there. <laughs> we pick up this rock. What is this one, lobster? <laughs> Can we zoom in here? <laughs> Any bets on what the first sample is going to be today? Rock. rock. The first sample? <laughs> yeah. Rock. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're going to be... Uh, Lithologically limited today on what we choose. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Rock. <laughs> Lithologically limited. Yeah, I like that as well. well. I went for the alliteration, you know. I love the alliteration. That's great. So you want to guess where are we finding when we'll we see, see the bottom? First. Mm -hmm. I think like, not like cliff rocks, but like big rocks. Big rocks. Big rocks. Boulders, if you will. I want to see stony coral. I think we just see rubble. Barney rubble, coral rubble. All the rubbles. I love coral rubble. <laughs> I think we're going to see detritus. I think we're going to see that jellyfish. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, no, I don't think that's jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Forget what I just said. A jelly Forgot. thingy. Something. <laughs> Floating debris. The schools of pelagic fish when we first got in the water were pretty cool. Though. They were beautiful. Mm -hmm. I always love how their fins are shaped. Yeah. yeah. It's made for swimming. Also, Bats. like, the, the formation they were in when, when they were, like, facing downward. Mm-hmm. Um, there's another great comment. Um, coming down under the waves calms and soothes me. I get lost in the beauty and calm. Science and screenshots are a bonus. Your banter and teaching is always funny and informative. Thank you so much. Helps me get through. Thank you for tuning in. Except Rob. Except <laughs> Rob. Where would we be without those dad jokes, Rob? <laughs> well, you got Dave here. <laughs> It's the combination. It's the one-two punch. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, Rob sets them up by knock them down. Um, if anyone wants to put in a comment, memory about Herc or a question, we, we do questions still. Um, you can find the chat at nautiluslive.org. If you're watching on YouTube, you can't send us anything, um, so make sure you're on nautiluslive.org. Houston, Texas wrote, the best part of watching Nautilus dives is hearing the genuine real-time, ooh, 
and whoa from the science team, from the ROV pilots and the science communication staff. It's really engaging to truly hear the wonder of exploration and see new, oh my gosh, I went away, and see new things. Scientists get very excited and that makes science as human as all of us. Now we're all robots. Beep, Robot. beep. Robot. Chat's very poetic today. All right. <laughs> They're feeling inspired. Right. 1,100 meters. Ooh, that's the wrong button. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. We're Is really close doctor? to the bottom. We're uh, about 90 meters off. Yeah. Roger. Yeah, someone in the chat also mentioned that uh, these dyes help with their PTSD, which which is interesting. I mean, I guess it makes a lot of sense because it's like calming and it, it takes you to another world, right? Hmm. Therapeutic. It, it helps with stressful and uh, when you're feeling a stress, it helps a lot watch these videos of deep sea animals, creatures, landscapes. It's very relaxing. So, as we approach the bottom, we'll uh, shrimp. find shrimp. Dun, dun, dun. Might as well start Oop, there's that thing. Oh. There's a thingy. Ooh, what a thingy. It's a thingy majig. Jellyfish? Jellyfish. It's gone, whatever it is. Do do we have the triclops today? Yes. Uh yes. Can I do it? Uh Dave, can you zoom in a little bit please? What if we had a bit more? You'll see. Just keep zooming. And good there. <laughs> All right, dun, dun, go dun, ahead. Dun, dun. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. It yeah. so survived. Beautiful. Can you zoom in a little more, please? That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, welcome to Hercules' 1,000th dive from the EV Nautilus. Yeah, see if I can center it up. There we Happy go. Happy birthday, Eric. <laughs> oh, I love that he's holding balloons. That's adorable. And the party <laughs> hat. Beautiful. Everybody's wearing a party hat. Yeah. <laughs> And this watercolor painting surviving 1,100 meters down. It's a, test, uh, a testament to the quality of the laminator on board, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> really is a watercolor. Beautiful. I love looking at that. I love looking at it because there's so much detail. And the more you look at it, you see the lotto balls, you see the suction hose, <laughs> you get the, the triclops in the porch. The gauges are in the there. The gauges. Is, it's awesome. We got the, we got the um, weight drop pulls. Yeah. Yeah, you did a great job. That's yeah, well it's amazing. Done. Amazing. <laughs> Thank Good you. Good thing those boxes are clear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, we should come wide, please. We're near and bottom. I love the. You can come uh, all stop on the winch. The coral Roger? with the party hat. Yeah. I'll stop on the winch. I love that. All right. Uh, you want me bottom to put it back? Sight. That's all good. <gasps> oh, Roger. The bottom. A fish. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I gave that a highlight of five. Plus. Oh, I forgot to highlight that. <laughs> I got, I'm on it. Don't Thank worry. you. <laughs> I was busy taking a picture. <laughs> so, you can turn on your auto heading and I'll start backing down. Roger. Enabling thrusters. And auto heading is on. Okay. You circling around? I'll, I'll get you to circle around once I've come a little closer. Roger. Do you want me to port or starboard? Let's do starboard. Alrighty. Here we go. So what depth do we normally find stony corals at? The corals I first worked on when I got into ocean science, that was tropical in Bermuda, so that was like 50 meters. But I'd like to know their maximum depth, if anybody knows. So there are records in the Okeanos um, guide at 1,000 meters. Whoa. 
but most of them are below that level. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We're going to start our setup here. Be able to do divey things very soon. Do you want to set up the arm for white balance, please, Annabelle? Gotcha. Uh, I just like put the white part in front of Zeus, kind of. Yep. And you can take the craft off bubble. Bubble, you know what I mean. Do the, thing. Do the thing that isn't what I said, but it makes sense instead it makes of what sense. I said. I know what you said. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he said. I just wave my hand at things to be like, do the thing, and it's like, all right, I gotcha. Nice. The power of teamwork. Uh, enabling craft? Yeah, go for it. Turning it on would help. I heard that's a big yeah, part of this complete breakfast. That yeah. is, yeah, that is a big part of it. All right, uh, <laughs> turning <laughs> the thing on. Yeah, and now <laughs> you have to wait about 45 seconds. Right, <laughs> roger that. <laughs> I say that, maybe it's 20, it just feels like an eternity. I'm gonna press the button. Nope. Nope. You got no comms? Oh, that ain't that right. Um, That's that waiting. There oh. you go. Now I'm that gonna press the button. That's probably only like 10 you seconds, but it felt like a lot. Feels like an eternity. That's Ooh, a little close, Yeah, it? that's cozy. It's cozy. How's this? And then uh, you need you to center, it, center up. it up. And yeah, nice keep the jaw in view so you don't get into the cinema cam. You can get a little closer than that still. Probably about there. And I can come to you a little bit too. Roger. Great view of the, uh, <laughs> the manip there. Eh, let me try another. If you can come just a little there. closer. I'm zoomed in all the way. Uh-oh. Uh, do you mind zooming out, then, just a little bit? That'll do it. Is that all centered up and good? Trevor can take care of that. No, I can't. Who's driving this thing? What's he doing? That guy again. All right. Is that enough, hopefully? That is good. Just all like right, you can that. give me a reset there. OK. Trevor, can you tilt up just a little bit? Up, oh, perfect. Ah, right nice, there. it worked. Right there. Okay, uh, black balance first. Kurt going to black. Now. Okay, and white balance. That's probably good. Yeah. That's okay, good. white balance complete. Thank you very much. Roger. Have you sent the reset? Yeah, yeah I did with the. No, yeah, you got to. You got to click the yes, cursor. Yeah. yeah. It's Let me know when you're done. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Just e yeah. Craft has been secured. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, cool. Coming down on Delta. Sure. And I'll take bubble on porch, please. Roger. Okay, I think we are good to go. Yeah. It'd be great if we could grab one of these black biologic samples up here. All the round <laughs> ones, yeah. Is we it order the day boy true at all? <laughs> we were wrong about what we were going to see. This is sand. Yeah, it's exciting. Exciting. We can see see pants. <laughs> it looks like crunchy sand, too. Where's the detritus lovers at? <laughs> Ooh. Do you want to take one of these round things? Sure. Which one do you want? 
Big, uh, small, some as big as let's, red. Let's go small. I don't want to take up too much space. I just want confirmation of what this is. Okay. Keep coming down on Delta, please. Roger, coming down on Delta. What about the one, uh, oh, that's pretty big, actually. Yeah, that's what I was. I was going to say, this one up at the top right here. The, it, 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 this one, right? You think about that one? Here. I think yeah. that's too, that might be too big. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, are you trying to fit it in one oh. of the small boxes? Or, or is this one smaller down here? That one might fit in the small box if you put it vertically. Okay, let's try that one then. Might, keyword. We'll see how much of it is buried. Yeah. All right, you can get the arm out. Roger. We have a golden coral and a shrimp. That's Probably a, a pandalus shrimp in the I cinema can. I uh, think we have the first squat, squat lobster as well. I was going to say, well. there's a squat in there. Waving his little ar arms in the air. Make sure you got a view of it for you. Yeah. Very small Uruptaikos. Is there a desire to sample or zoom on that squatty? That's a question for Paul. Uh, uh, no, no, let's go for the rock. Okay. And we'll see more things. Uh, which one? I mean, let's try this one, but either, you know, that one or that one will probably work too. Okay. Let's try that close one, because we can reach it. Um, yeah, we can do a ship move now. What are these, 50 meters? Yeah. Yeah, let's oh, do a... it's welded. Well, you know what? No. We'll, we'll hold on. We'll We're shallow, another. so... Maybe it's just stuck in the sediment. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bigger. Yeah, it might be buried and huge. Yeah. No. Yeah, let's let's try that one if you, if it's within reach. Okay. Maybe just. I can also scoot. We'll see e if we can get it. Stand on your tippy toes to get it. Yeah, everyone lean forward. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna scoot forward so yeah, get the arm out of there. I think there's a squat on that rock. Yeah, too, this is a, 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 a Tiflonida species, I think. Okay. Very small. Uh -huh. Now we're yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Just dig around in the sediment of it here. Oh my Ooh. goodness. That squat is trying to bite the arm. Yeah. They're all stuck. Eh. Yeah, that's not going to go either. Okay. Oh. <laughs> in the <laughs> squatty. Been Goodbye, evicted. Squat. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of these are gonna gonna go. Not this I one mean, here. how about yeah? Let's try that. Let's do a 30 meter ship move, please. Roger. Oof. Just towards waypoint two. Yeah, maybe two, they I are guess. just welded. Yeah, together. that's fine. No, that's fine. We don't need to. to I'm really surprised with that welded. Okay. Well, we'll uh, try again in a moment. Yep. No. Uh, ready to stow it? Yeah. Good morning. Please. Can we please step 30 meters during 2 to 0 degrees? Speed. Yeah, speed is 0.2. Thank you. Roger. Craft is dead. There was a great question in the chat from about 10 minutes ago. Do you supply bathmetric data to map makers like Google Earth, I often find myself exploring interested in topographical features on it. Yes, yes we do. Yeah. Yeah, all the, yeah, all the data that we collect goes there to the Seabed um, 2030 project, which is one of the sources of Google Earth, so, yeah. Interesting looking feature here. Big old block. Oh yeah, looks oh. like a piece of a s partially consolidated lithified sediment slid down. Wow. You That's should break it. Probably <laughs> should, shouldn't I? Mm-hmm. Is that valuable to science? 
Uh, probably all corals. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Boom. No. Oh, another stream. Solid. It's solid. That's crazy. Yeah. See, that was science. Yeah. Poke it with a stick. Poke it with a vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> bash it with an ROV. Yeah, it's ROV proof. Crazy. Cool. Is that a C pen there? Yeah. Is this a steepen? I don't know. We can find out in mere seconds. Mere bouncy seconds. Okay, zoom in, please. Now I could ask you the same question. Is it a steepen? <laughs> I I think so. I I think we should collect this. Okay, come wide, please. Is that a slurp? Yeah. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Go for it. Don't oh. sound too excited, Roger. Rob. <laughs> oh, I <yeah. laughs> uh, Is our Delta looking all right? Yeah, I can keep an eye on it. I think Thank we you. only have two sea pens from this cruise sampled. Lined up for slurp jar number one. So we can do a snip and slurp Roger. on this. And let me land before you get too snippy. <laughs> okay. You can snip there. Snip away. Snip to your heart's content. What was the bearing of that move, Elias? 220. 220. Thank you. i got to get myself situated here. Yep, totally. Take some time. Ask for zooms as you need them. Can I get a zoom? Is that good? Science, what? is that good? <laughs> yeah, I uh, tried to get most of them. Yeah, you're in the dirt here. That's all you get. Perfect. Okay, and if you line it up with the slurp jars, or whatever, the slurp hose, I should say, that's full camera right, so you, can, you can't get a full zoom there. Roger. I keep forgetting how to do this part. Yeah, that's fine. Eh. One nine one. Is that correct? Data? Yes, that is correct. Right, you gotta do a little vertical maneuver with yep. this. Can I get a zoom on the slurp? Thank you. And you is might be good? able to wrist roll it in. It's on the top of the slurp right now, so you're gonna have to put it in the in the schnozzle first. Yeah, and it doesn't need to be parallel to it. As long as you get the tip in, it'll go. So you want to you roll the wrist. Yeah, that kind of thing. You'll know when it's close because it'll start suctioning. It's getting there, almost there, and you can probably let it go now. Yep. Very good. good work. Nice slurp. Uh, can I get a zoom out? Thank you. And the first sample of the 1000th dive is a C pen. Nice. How exciting. Exciting. Uh, we have an expert on C pens on, on the ship, and she's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I can bet. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep All right, craft secure. Sure. Bridge. Okay, flushing complete. So what is this? Sea pens three, squat lobsters forty. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, squat lobsters twenty. Oh, okay. oh, 
Yeah, um, Paula, a while ago your lab asked it what type of crustaceans we'll be seeing. Obviously the two squat lobsters we just saw. We are going to see a lot of squat lobsters because they are the peak of diversity of these uh, species uh, uh, is between 400 meters and 1,000 meters. So they are going to be very abundant. So but we are going to see also hermit crabs, uh, ice boats, also pagurids, and potentially a lot of uh, homolid crabs, the one who carry the anemones. The, yeah, cool. yes. the next move can be 50, five zero meters. Thanks. Um, another interesting question in the chat is, do you think there would be any benefit to adding an infrared camera and spotlights to see any creature that might flee from the bright lights of Hercules? Um, it depends on the um, type of research and exploration. Would infrared but work the same down here as it would? on land? Mainly measuring heat, I believe, so I'm mm. just wondering if there would be a temperature difference. It wouldn't go very far, I don't think. Yeah. Because yeah. of the wavelength, it gets... Yeah, it gets attenuated. Attenuated very fast. Can I have a bubble on porch, please? Gotcha. Thank you. That said, if somebody wanted to do that experiment, they should... Uh, Some... Um, get a grant to do that. Are the lasers sometimes red? Hercules used to have red lasers until about, I want to say 2016, they were changed to green. Mm -hmm. The red lasers were uh, more difficult to see at a distance. So when you're up close, no problem. But far away, it was very, very hard to see the lasers. They just, the light was so attenuated to that wavelength, that color. Yeah, makes sense. Look at all the animal tracks here, too. There's a fish in the cinema cam coming up in Zeus. Oh, look at Maybe. that. Maybe not. That's yeah, a fish. Fish, fish. Oh, it, oh is it a no, shark? Oh, no, it's a shark. It's, it's a, a shark. shark. Oh, no. It's a shark. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's a cat oh, shark. Oh, no. <laughs> there don't it is. Go, don't go. Oh, no. so you scared. can see it in the cinema cam what channel you know three in? running for its life. Yeah, it <laughs> looks like for its life. Oh, goodness. Looks like a cat shark. Don't I like go, those. Shark. That's Rob's favorite shark, right? Yep. I want a little fish. I'm gonna run it out of tether really soon. Mad. Mad. Ferocious. I think guy. it's a cat. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's certainly not a cat, Rob. Cats yeah. don't like water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for laughing. <laughs> Is that another? I think it's a crinoid. Crinoid. A dancing crinoid. Hello. All right, this this little fellow has calmed down. Can we zoom in, please? Oh, so cute. Look at his big old eyes. Ah, <laughs> right at the end of the shark. leash here. Oh my god, look at its big old eyes. Look at this dust storm. There I can't, is. can't see the dust storm for the dust. Tell me why I tried to spell shark with a C H. Oh. Chark. <laughs> chark. <laughs> cat chark. Cat chark. Oh, so precious. Like not scary at all. Oh. No. It's calmed down quite a bit. Now it's used to herc. Yeah. Or is it just it's giving up? It's getting adapted. <laughs> it's giving up. Yeah. Is, is it a cat? I can't tell. It could be a coral cat shark or something like that. Don't cat sharks like glow? When when you do the fluorescence, mm -hmm. yeah. they, they do. We should put giant fluorescent lights, or the giant UV lights on her. Is that a cat shark about 30-ish, 35 centimeters then? All right, thank you. Oh, how precious. Thanks for that chase and zoom. I love it. That was beautiful. Um, everyone in the chat, thank you for sending your your wonderful messages about fond memories of Herc. I want to read this one because it's really nice. Um, Nautilus Live has everything. Adventure, drama, comedy, educational value, suspense, in parentheses, when a sample 
Will the sample be ses successfully collected? And even a bit of romance in parentheses, sea spiders matching pores. I don't know why there aren't millions of people watching and sharing the exploration live in real time. Thanks for everyone for the incredible opportunity to experience seeing places on our planet never seen before. That's so sweet. <laughs> no, that's beautiful, chat. Sometimes, Fine. sometimes you guys can be quite wonderful. Sometimes. <laughs> Do the romance fans in chat uh, see the lobster wedding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a Boy. squad. We wedding. have a Ambalula here. Ambalula. Ambalula. Unbelievable. <laughs> and is that a shrimp? Can we zoom on the Ambalambalambalula, please? Oh, I bet. I bet Haisa is so happy right now. Yep. Haisa, look at the screen. So this is a different type of sea pen from the first. I think the first one was a Penatulacea. This one's an Umbalula. Yeah, Umbalula. It's a great shot. Yeah. We have collected, I don't know if we won another one. I'm waiting for the answer of the sea pen biologist. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. But nice images. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question in the chat. How far apart are the green pinpoint lights? 15 centimeters? Close chat. Those two lasers are 10 centimeters apart. We're using them to measure. There's another fish. Another potential sea pen. Can we zoom in the microfish, please? Or is it a shrimp? It's a shrimp. shrimp. Is it a shrimp? Shrimp fish? <gasps> shrimp. That increases the tally by at least one. <laughs> yeah, <okay>. At least. <laughs> Thank you. You're wrong. No, just one. <laughs> we're at five shrimp. Five shrimp on this dive? Five shrimp on this dive. Think we're going to get to 2,000? 2,000 shrimp on this dive? Yeah. Coming up. H2000. H2K. Um, Question in the chat, how do sea pens form? Form? Um, so they have a primary polyp. Yeah. Well, for starters. Settle, settle in, the, in the sediment or in the bottom. Yeah. And then they, they do um, a sexual reproduction. And yeah. And they row with other polyps. I think it's the way. Shrimp. Shrimp. For starters, Shrimp. sea pens are animals. Sea pens are corals. Corals. Octocorals. That's an animal. That's is an this animal. shrimp eating yeah. the? There's two shrimps on Correct. it. Let's zoom in on the shrimps. Is it? Are they eating from the? The rock. Block of coral. Oh, there's three shrimps. Three shrimps. Oh. Oh. Thrice. Do you want that the rock? It is. is that yeah. No, not yet. Rock? No, it doesn't want that rock. Let the Thank shrimps you. have their rock. They claimed it. <laughs> now Are that's we, worth at least three tallies. All right, we're at nine. Well, there was one that floated by, too, oh, just before that. So that's, that's nine shrimp we're up to now. I'm keeping tabs. We're going to get to 2,000. <laughs> 2,000 shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> Someone in the chat wrote, the moment when we notice a fish in the ocean is like the moment when you notice a cow while driving down the road. It never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> when I notice a cow, when I'm driving down the road, I just make cow noises. But I don't really make fish noises. I don't what know enough fish noises. What noises would like a cusk eel make? What? Why is that the noise? Do you see their mouths? They look like they're like constantly like not panicking, you're but worried. like just struggling. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here's a good question. Do you ever rest Hercules on hard surfaces for more stability when you're taking samples or zooms? Oh, if so, yeah. how do you avoid damaging any wildlife underneath? Shrimp. 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 Goodness gracious, all these shrimp. We <laughs> don't squish the animals because we look before we leap. Uh, spot your landing and then land. It's like walking in the forest. How do you not trample sensitive flowers? You just look and then step. Well, also, that you guys have the porch cam, so we you do. can easily see yeah. like what's right underneath the porch. Yeah, and generally speaking, we're on it slopes, so when you land, it's only the first, depending on the height of the animal, 
only the first foot or two that'll actually come into contact with it. So we only have to clear a little bit of space on the ground before we need to land. There's a cursor fish in the cinema cam. Cursor fish. <laughs> Are we able to move that out of the way? Yes, somebody is. That somebody is not me. I'm going to do a little uh, look left, look right action here. See what we see. Sand. Ooh, cursor fish gone. Thank you. Ran away. Yeah, there's sand that way. And a sea pen. I was pen. so wrong about what it was going to look like. I feel foolish. I thought it'd be more rubbly than sandy. Yeah, we were all bamboozled. Oh, there's some rubble. And a fish. Oh my another gosh, shrimp. so many fish. Or shrimp. And another shrimp. shrimp. Oh, there's too many shrimp, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get to we might get to 2,000 2000 shrimp. I'm telling you. Can we zoom here, please? Yes, we are gonna do that. A good idea. I like how these right. sea pens are kind of leaning up. Go ahead, up please. Slope. Well, I think that might be an upslope current there, maybe. Yeah. A little bit of current from right to left. Uh, same that we just collected. It right? looks like it to okay. my untrained yeah. eye. What's at the base there? Oh, there is a pagurid crab. Uh, Can we zoom on the, the crab, please? Oh, hermit crab. That's full zoom. Okay, Roger. Yeah, confirm that this is the same sea pen. Goodbye. That we oh, not like hop it. All right. <laughs> that was potentially um parapaguride. I like how in here we're all like ooh, and down there they're all like ah. <laughs> we are the aliens. We are the aliens. Look at the scar in the sand here. Oh yeah. Oh wow. I wonder if that's a big whale or something again. Pretty large. It's interesting how different is the sediment wow. that's up bottom here. How how big are beaked whales? Big. Like whale that sized? big? Whale size. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this width of this is over wow. a meter. What if that is? What if it rocks fell hit, hit that and dragged or something? Well, there's a fish. A rock slide scar. Fish. Thing. Fish it, thing. it was like down. You just passed it. It was like just resting on the bottom. Tired fish. And there's, there's a fish one. there too. That thing that looks like a stick. Oh yeah, stick fish. I catch those out a lot when I go fishing. Yeah, it's my, most of mine. What Two. is it? Zoom in, please. Halosaur? It kind of, yeah. Yeah. Um, a darker one. Look at it go. Good Maybe job. Maybe down late? Nope, that's worse. All right, thank you. Is that uh, bioturbation? Mm-hmm. Right side, top. Is that a shrimp? Zoom in, please. Oh, nice. Oh. This is a Krangonid shrimp. Uh, they they are characterized because they have a very hard es uh, skeleton and a lot of spines in the carapace and the abdomen. The family is Krangonidae, and there are uh, several genera. So it's probably Krangon or Thank Cliff you. of Krangon. Cool. Common name, buff shrimp. So are, are we feeling bold <laughs> enough to try to take a push core? Yep. Thanks. Right now? Yep. Yeah. I feel or, this, or you're ready. this um, button is more compact than the cores for an inference sun we have no. seen. So maybe... Uh, okay. Here. Do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Uh, you go ahead. Okay. This seems like 
something that could actually work. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> a very funny thing to we say. We have a, a very small sip in here. So you don't want to spoil the show, Annabelle? I don't want to spoil it, no. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, I need to update the status. And Can like, I get bubble on craft, please? Even digging around for those sea pens and rocks stirred up a bunch of stuff. I know yeah. I'd make a big mess of it. <laughs> Let's go with uh Orb. Push core glamour shot. Yeah. Look at that. Uh no, let's go with this one. Whoops. Ew. How do you do this? Down? Uh, no, I don't care about no stinking down light. You want me to turn it on? It's dramatic this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can be dramatic. fast. Oh. Oh, no. Is it all gone? I don't know. Can you I give me sample salvo, please? I don't think so. No, I think we're good. Oh. Getting a bit of plop. Push core master at work. It's crazy how different the atmosphere looks with this like yellowish sediment compared to what we were seeing at deeper depths of like the whitish settlement, uh, <laughs> sediment. Like aesthetic atmosphere or? Yeah, just like colors and. Um, Come up on Delta, yeah. please. Great. Thank you. Roger. Coming up on Delta. You got to watch you. that while I'm on minute. Roger. And Nav, you have a pin for that one? Yeah. Okay, I'm not watching your screen at the moment, oh, so okay, just yeah. checking. Yeah. You um, want it up to 20? Yeah. Here's an appropriate question. What's the hardest sample to collect? Push core. <laughs> what sample number was that? That was 192. Thank you. Welcome. I got a bunch of sand on the porch. So that's going to be fun later. Let's, uh, Is that a cucumber? See if I can yeah. car wash a bit. Hmm. Uh, can you do something weird? Can you zoom in on bubble, please? And good there, yeah. That's a thrilling view. Mm, no, it didn't work. I was hoping I could uh, shake it off with porch in and out, but. Okay, thanks. You can come wide on that. Chat wants to know what is in the sediment. Oh, oh, oh good question. <laughs> Detritus. <laughs> is it the same type of sediment we've been seeing? Shrimp. Throughout the expedition? Well, I bet there still are quite a few uh, Globigerina and 4Ms in it. But it may have other bits of uh, coral rubble or material kind of sloughing off the uh, the atoll. But it's still not quite the same sand we would find like at the, at beach. the beach and no, stuff. No, that's, that's delicious. This is all carbonate. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. Yummy. My dog thinks so. Oh, here's Shrimp. your dog in the chat. Bark, bark. 
Shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp. Buff shrimp. Buff shrimp. Rock. Wanna zoom on the yellow? We can zoom on the yellow. It's gonna be bouncy, but go for it, Dave. Good luck. Rock. Carbonate rock? Yep. Yeah. With something bouncy, underneath bouncy, it. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, goodness gracious. The sediment here is so fluffy. Okay, thank you. Shrimp. <laughs> Shrimp. Trevor, this, the chat says you collect push cores for a nice snack later. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, no, this one isn't delicious. <laughs> Were you listening to Rob? Come on, chat. Rob said beach sand is delicious. Can we zoom in this cucumber, please? The sea cucumber would say this sand is most scrumptious. Look oh, at it. Scrumptious. It's so round. It's really getting in there. Yeah. All right, thank you. Paula, are you on mute? Paula's muted, yeah. Yeah, she's yes. muted. Sorry. <laughs> I, I keep doing that on purpose to her. Oh, <laughs> you rascal. Oh. I thought you were just talking to your friends in the back just to exclude the rest of us. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm it's over fine. it, Paula. It's fine. Sometimes I, they shrimp. whisper to each other. We get it if it's just a science thing and, you know. Yeah. Another sea pen. Another sea pen. Yeah. You want to zoom on it? Yes, just in case it's different. Okay. We can zoom on the sea pen, please. Oops. It looks like the same. Same, same, yeah. Same type. Uh, Raisa said it could be funiculina. Thank you. Am I? Hey, thanks. Chat wants to know why Wait, we don't no. slurp the sediment. So what's the benefit of a fish? What's the benefit of a push core? Shrimp. Push cores keep all the shrimp, sediment. Shrimp, 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 it's like a snapshot of it. So all the sediment at certain depths is kept exactly where it was. And we have people who only want the top five centimeters of the sediment. We have people who want deeper layers of the sediment. And slurping it Zoom would in, just please. mix it all up. What is this? Napping fish? Yeah. Is it napping? <laughs> <laughs> Poke it with a stick. Uh, Hello? This is a tongue fish. A what? Tongue, tongue fish. fish. Tongue fish. Are is they it known for napping? Napping? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for my dirt nap, maybe. Yeah. Is that a nap? Becoming part of the circle of life. <laughs> Someone forgot to feed it. It's not dead. Another one. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so maybe they're not napping. They do. Maybe they're just shrimp. Maybe they're just chilling. They're playing possum. Playing possum. What? They they fainted when they saw her. Fainting <laughs> <laughs> goats. Maybe they won't see us. Shrimp. Like the the brittle stars. <laughs> How many shrimp are we at now? Mm -hmm. uh, we got to be at least fifteen or seventeen or something. Seventeen. Keeping track. 17 shrimp. Yes. This is probably a nematocarcinus. Sea pipe. Another one. Um, there's a question for the ROV pilots. What do you use to control the ROV? Keyboard, unique control array, or game controller? No internet. I don't know what that said. It moved away. But what do you use to control the ROV? Well, I have joysticks, three joysticks. Up, down, left, right. Spin left, spin right. And uh, go forward, go back. And Annabelle, you want to talk about the manipulator? Uh, yeah, the manipulator is... That was a fun one. Yeah. The manipulator is a seven function arm and it's controlled with like a little, I don't want to say replica, but like a little like sort of a controller that looks like the arm and when you move the controller, it moves the arm like along with it. So like it has all the same joints and things. 
Um, and then it has like a little button to make the jaws open and closed. Um, Could we zoom in the well, sure. fish, please? Fo wait, uh, wait, zoom in the fish. If anybody's interested in how Adelant is controlled, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have uh, auto heading buttons. So you can set a specific heading that you want Atalanta pointed to, and it'll use the thrusters Ooh. to like move move it to that heading. And then Feisty. we have the Thanks. winch. Um, Come up on Delta, please. Shrimp. Oh my the ship's shrimp. winch, which you, you can use to go up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it running in the cinema camera. This is uh, pr uh, another Krangoni there. Shrimp. Beef shrimp? Or what do you call it? Buff shrimp? The other arm is controlled with buttons, like just on the screen. Yeah, can we zoom in on some of this rubble coming up? Rubble? Yep. Yeah, oh, we, we some are off to the left, okay? Yeah, that, that'd be fine. It is discolored stuff. We this have some coral rubble here, so yeah. that means that we are going to see corals very soon, like potentially yeah. stunning corals. Yeah, there's going to be some above. We have, s we have yeah. a big block Okay, Dave, let's do a sediment zoom, please. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, all sorts of bits of Rubble. coral rubble. Is that an oyster shell? Oh, yeah. I could go for an oyster right now. Yeah. Does it look like an oyster? Been here. Cool. I'm going to tip down and see if we can get even closer. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Only you want to give Nautilus. me a super mega macro? I'll turn on downlight. Only the Nautilus would nerd out over sediment like this. How much zoom you got? Look at all the little bits and pieces in there. <laughs> we also, we have a big blip on Herx sonar. On Atlanta sonar, yeah. Atlanta sonar. Roger. Oh, that's exciting. Ooh. Let's go look at that. Yeah. Let's it, go look at the blip. It's blip. like, it's Is a it pink moving? one, too. Is it moving? No. No. Oh. We're moving. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dave. So whatever it is must be some sort of hard surface. And yeah. there's a little shadow, too, and everything. It's going to be a big Hold tumulated thing. Oh. Chat would love to see a, co a Chana Cops. Do they reside at this depth? We've seen like three or four on this expedition, as well as two juveniles, or three juveniles, I think. Um, I don't know if they live at this depth. The juveniles are very cute because they start out gray before getting their pinkish color. Roger. Shrimp. Shrimp. They have little uh, jets on them. Yeah, they're actually um, gill holes. Really? Mm-hmm. Operculum. Operculum. You're a gill hole. <laughs> I wish I was a gill hole. <laughs> really? Uh, I think, I think, <laughs> I think Chana cups are is, more deep sea. Something coming up in the cinema cam to what the is right. Is that a sea pen? Ooh. It's another sea pen, Ooh. I think. It's a different type of a sea pen. A big frilly one. one. Pretty sea pen. Oh, it's one of the, the thick ones. Oh, uh, this is, yeah. <laughs> Can you zoom in on the thick one, please? Big peduncle. Out of all the things we said that you could call it, Trevor, this you picked the. This is a <laughs> uh, yeah. penatula. Well. Ah, it's pitilela. Pitilela. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's one of the yeah. classic ones that look like Oops. the feather style quill and ink pens. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Even There's a little also suction a little cup base. Swimmy thing swimming around in the cinema cam. All right. Okay, thank you. thank you. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this pink sonar target, but I really want to look for it. So we'll see how it goes. We're getting closer. It's still 50 meters away from Atalanta. So we still got to wait a Keeping moment. Keeping our delta nice and low. Sure. Chat says, I love this stream. It's informative, engaging, and funny. You seem like people I would like to do science and be friends with. And then they sent us a little heart. Aww. Aww. Another tongue fish. Well, there it is. OK, so we might make it. Another sea cucumber. Yeah, it keeps coming closer to us, like we are getting closer to it. No, no. No, no. Oh. Yeah, it's <laughs> two shrimps. Two shrimps. Two shrimps. Oh. 
Ship um, tally hand's going to be tired by the end of this. Chat wants to know, how do oh. whales know what the maximum depth is, or do they just crash into the ocean floor? Punk. Plum. Don't they have echolocation at some level? Are you asking me? Yeah, I was wondering. Oh. No. I, I'm, I'm assuming they do. Oh, I see pink line in Atalantis. I see mm -hmm. waves I in see cinema cam. Too. Can you please the five zero meters bearing two four zero degrees? Same speed. Is that cool. an edge? Could mm -hmm. be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. you can see oh, right, them. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, the sonar. Yeah. But you could see it in the cinema cam too. No way. Yeah, yep. look at the top. You see no that? Way. No really way. <laughs> 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 way. Yeah, way. Well, I better go to the left end to avoid this danger and never look at it. <laughs> nope, just kidding. We're gonna definitely look at it. I bet it's gonna be a rock that's gonna be. I don't think it's five meters wide and five meters tall. A cube. A big chunk of coral. What is it? Is it a rock? Oh, it's definitely more than five meters wide. I'm crazy. Yeah, no, it's Whoa. huge. Oh, the line. We'll see. We're it's seen enough. We're we're almost there. It's, it's rock. Clear as day in the cinema count. What are you? Whoa. It's so What rock. is that? That's rock. Rock on. I thought it was gonna be carbonate for sure, I don't know. Do you wanna is sample it? Basalt? it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I don't know. Like? I mean it could be, you know, just uh Manganese encrusted carbonate too. The ship is making its way, but you know we gotta be patient. I think I saw something on it, like a sponge or something, in the cinema cam too. Just a little bit further Let's up. See what the texture looks like. Here's that suspense someone was in chat was talking <laughs> about. Yeah, yeah. Now it's a thriller. Nautilus Live, the thriller. Yeah. Look at the sediment ripples near it. Some wow. focusing yeah. of flow. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Yep, it's a rock. Oh, there's coral on it. We have scratched uh, the sponge. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start over on the left and then yeah, we'll I, know it's I think it's a chunk of carbonate. It's a chunk of carbonate, you think? I just think. Are yeah, really look this. Um, what is that really? Oh, is that a Venus flytrap? That's huge. Shrimp. Oh, what is that? Whoa, it is. Yeah. That's a huge flytrap. Should I highlight this rock? It's a good looking rock. I'll, that's what I'll name it. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> it's not a boulder. Are it's these a rock. golden corals? I don't know. Let's some here, please. Yeah, sure. Um, it is possible. It is, yeah. Anything for you. Can we zoom on this thing, please? Yeah, I'm not sure what this is now. Are these like hydroids? hydroids? Yeah. Hydroids, yeah. And a little squatty in there, it looks like. I see a little claw sticking out. Maybe. Maybe. Difficult to say. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, come wide, please. I'm going to zip around the other side of this rock. Might as well. already counted that shrimp. Nematocarcinus. I'm not a fan of the long-legged shrimp. Yeah, I think <laughs> just that Why? honeycomb texture just kind of looks more like uh, carbonate. Um, why am I not a fan of the long-legged shrimp? Because mm -hmm. what are those like spider web looking things? Hydrates. Oh. 
Um, I'm not a fan of the long-legged shrimp because they look like spiders, and I don't like long-legged spiders. Shrimp, shrimp. Yeah, that texture looks more like carbonate. Uh, we have oh, is an that an anemone? Anemone. anemone. And multiple shrimps. Oh, three shrimps. Three shrimps. Actually. Oh no. Oh, another one in the crinoid. Four shrimp. Four shrimp. Oh, I see what you mean by the spider web thing. Yeah. Stephanie. I'm not sure. We can have a look at that. After this, I can have to play a little bit of catch up. That's fine. More can we zoom in the spider web, please? What is this? And there's an uh, an urchin that's peeking oh, out. You can yeah. see it in the center of the Yeah. Weird. I don't know. It seems like some <laughs> sports debris, maybe. Uh, like okay. Come wide, please. That's and purposely and attached. Another shrimp. Oh. Some encrusted. Another shrimp there. Oh my gosh, there's so many shrimp. Oh, another one. Chat said you could ride this baby miles. You know it, <laughs> Can we zoom here later? Uh, yep. Yeah. We can zoom here right now. Go for it, please. What is that? Ooh. Holotherian and um, associate. If you see in the cinema cam at the top, there's these sweet little pom poms on sticks. All right, I top. gotta go. Come wide, please. Oh, look at that. Oh, and then like a caterpillar. Wow, this rock is bustling. Bustling. It's bussin'. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that sea cucumber thinks. Um, Chat wants to know where this rock could have came from. I guess slid down from above, from the reef. Do you, do you think it's reef material, yeah. like the carbonate? Yeah, I, I think it's carbonate, that. but it's just been encrusted. Reefy debris? Reefy debris. Another cousin. Mm -hmm. I mean, the texture had a lot of holes in it, gaps. Someone said, only Nautilus team can make me so excited about a big rock. <laughs> Y'all are the best. Chat also said, you can't escape spiders even thousands of feet underwater. Yeah, I'm well aware of that, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I once went um, hiking in a lava tube that was like a mile deep, and there was a spider in there, so... I have to live with the fact that I'm never safe. Although I haven't seen one on the boat. And I'm very happy about it. Fish. You can just never go to shore again. <laughs> yeah. Please. No. I like the lack of mosquitoes. Yeah, oh, the lack of nice. bugs in general. Except sim, 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 please. in the beginning I was having like... Thanks. They weren't dreams because I was like awake and seeing things. Like I'd just wake up and I'd see a bug. Hallucinations? Yeah, <laughs> I was having bug hallucinations like right as I woke up. Nice. Oh boy. Um, someone says, good afternoon and happy Friday from Jupiter, Florida. Why are you not encountering any bivalves or gastropods down there? Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Jup yeah, it's pretty cool. Does anyone know why there's no bivalves or gastropods? Bivalves are a different class of mollusk, mm -hmm. and gastropods are a different class. But why don't we see them here? Bivalves? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's some species live uh, um, inside the sediment, so you cannot see them. Maybe you can see the siphons or or some tentacles, but um, a lot of species live uh, very deep into the sediment. Chat, we think that rock was of um, reefy debris origin, 
what is it, carbonate? Yeah, it's probably a carbonate, part of the carbonate reef system above. So not created by a volcano, but probably created not. by an old, not, old reef. Not a lava flow. Shrimp. Shrimp. Does anyone want to guess what we're at with shrimp? 30. Uh, 35. 30. Uh. Um, did you already get this one by the lasers? Nope. So now we're at 31. Mm. I guess 31. Mm -hmm. I guess 35 later. <laughs> okay. I'll remember that. Do <laughs> you got a, a blobby in the cinema cam? Blobby. Ooh, we also got sorry. another buff shrimp in the cinema that cam. That is a buff shrimp. It's buff, buff shrimp. shrimp. Buff. <laughs> oh, shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Did we just hear Rob giggle? <laughs> <laughs> um, question in the chat, do the pilots control the arms on the ROV? And if so, they must be amazing at claw machine games. Claw machine games are rigged. Another buff shrimp? Rigged. Um, so yeah, they control the arms on the ROV. Do you guys want to explain that? Could you imagine if they just did what they wanted? <laughs> that would be wild. Why is that? <laughs> So circular. <laughs> Just approach a possible sample and see what Herc wants to do yeah. with it. How do you feel, bud? <laughs> <laughs> I think if Herc got uh, his own opinion on the arms, he'd be digging around in the sand like a little kid. I could imagine Herc throwing little temper tantrums with his arms and kind of just like <laughs> waving them and then like crossing them because he's mad. I think it follows a sense of authority because it likes to salute. Yeah. You know? <laughs> give it a mind of its own it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> roger that captain there you go. Yeah, oh. my, my eyeballs itchy <laughs> chat wants to know if there's Trim. a sub bottom profiler on hercules no there was one is one on argus but not on atalanta but not on atalanta um chat wanted to know a while ago what happened to argus it's just on hiatus <laughs> shrimp yeah. shrimp it's uh just sitting ashore but we're using Atalanta for yeah, now. You can't use all the toys all the time, so it's on oh. standby if we need it or want it. It's got some different functionality than Atalanta, but right now Atalanta's serving its purpose very well. Um, do you want to explain the differences? Someone already in, in chat already did. Sub bottom profiler. Is that it? Mm, Depth rating? No. Depth rating's the same. They're both 6,000 meter oh, rated. Really? I didn't know Argus that. can take a Zeus Plus camera, so a little bit better imaging. But Atalanta is a little bit lighter, which means Someone it can go a bit deeper without worrying about tension limits. A little bit larger weather window. What's this thing? Can you zoom in on this, please? Shrimp. Oh, that's a big shrimp. Zoom in on this not shrimp. Another I one think of those that's one fish. of those tongue fish. Tongue fish. Tongue what do they fish. bury themselves? Yeah, I guess they. Yep. Are, like, are they bigger than that? Are they like big and flat, or is that it? We should poke it. What? I'm gonna Google it. Tongue, like what's in, in your mouth? More, yeah. Uh, this is I'm one of the Pleuronectidae uh, group of fi the fishes. Hmm. I'm assuming that they're larger than that, right? Are they? Are they oh, like no, a flounder? <gasps> oh, they yeah. have they have the eyes. Oh, look, you can see the eyes on the same side of the head. Oh, it's a flatfish. Oh. Okay. Flatfish. Yeah. Yeah. You know they're not born like that. Uh, yeah, I know the eyes migrate. Isn't around. that crazy? I feel like that's painful. Teenage years gotta be rough. I like these guys. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. They are tasty as well. <laughs> they're what? <laughs> tasty? Yeah. Tonguefish? Uh, flatfish. Oh, it's flatfish, yeah. Agreed, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the tonguefish is not a type of flatfish. This oh. is a different species that we're seeing? That's what I'm asking. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, but they are all belong to the group Pleuronectida. Okay. Shrimp. Um, does anyone know how far we are from the atoll? Shrimp. Sounds like a job for Nav. Yeah. Nav. <laughs> <laughs> Nav. One by one. I guess ten miles. Shrimp. Thirty-five. No, that's shrimp. Two. <laughs> guess that later. We're shrimp <laughs> far away. <laughs> How many shrimp away are we? <laughs> if all the shrimp lined up nose to tail <laughs> from us to Johnston Atoll, how many shrimp? 
Did you know if you lined up, if you took all the nerves in your body and lined them end to end, you would die? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's good to know. If you took all the shrimp in your body. <laughs> <laughs> Elias, can you explain that pixelated part? Is that like where the island, is that the island or is yes, that? Yes, yeah. Oh. This is the just yeah. This is just not all. So let me measure the distance. Let's get that first. Is all of it above water? I think so. Wow. <laughs> I've not been there, but I think so. I think um, Rob, you guys were on the Justin at all like last year? Was it last year or in the previous um, expedition, right? Yeah, we went by it. Oh, by just by it. Yeah, like we went, we went to Palmyra. Uh, oh, okay. Like I'm just curious, like how, like was like the height, like above uh, the water level. It's pretty flat. Yeah, the, really yeah. flat. We we could see it the other day with binoculars, but all you could see is like a couple buildings and then the, like the edge of it. What's that? I think there was a, a good shrimp. shrimp? <laughs> Mouse. Cinema shrimp. Gosh, another shrimp. Is that a coral or a yeah, sea pen down there? Top I left. Yeah, we tried to take the center. It's about ten. We are about ten nautical miles. Ten miles away. Yeah. Oh my God! It's Fish City over here. Oh yeah. <laughs> in the cinema cam to the left. Or is it Shrimp the City? Or, oh, it might There's be Shrimp City. There's a big fish in the Atalanta cam. Shrimp City. Shrimp City. Yeah, but I think there's a fish above the shrimp. It's all shrimp above the fish too. Can we zoom in on this? Uh, crinoid. Crinoid. Oh, please? it's crinoid. Might as well. <laughs> Chat says I'm gonna wake up in the Kinda middle of the night shrimp. and shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, shrimp. Shrimp. Ooh. Yeah, part of the reason I was giggling earlier was uh, Thank you. Pa Paula saying uh, shrimp in uh, cup style. <laughs> <laughs> With her southern accent. I'm very bad at it, sorry. <laughs> shrimp. 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 <laughs> is that a, oh, a fish cute. Is oh. it a can we zoom what in on it, please? What is it? The critter. It's, so cute. it's pretty Bleach. stationary. No. A little beastie. Oh. Uh, uh, is it frozen? A, it's a chana. Uh, is it a chana? It's a wee one. Juvenile? Oh. Is that the babiest baby of all time? It is. It's oh. not even completely gray yet. It's still pretty translucent. Is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> it looks a little existential, doesn't it? That's, that's an infant. Try. It's having it a moment. Yeah. That is, is maybe fresh. <laughs> is fresh Shonakops. Fresh infant <laughs> For the chat that wanted to see a Chonacops, here is the most freshest, <laughs> newest Chonacops you could see. There you go. So All they right, go from bye, translucent buddy. to gray to pink then? Awesome. Shrimp. The I order of operation. He's got his little leggies out. It's so cute. Oh, he's swimming now. Good for him. Oh, just barely. Go get him, buddy. <laughs> like, I can't even count on the shrimp. I'm just going to count two. <laughs> I have just logged it. Shrimp <laughs> and another shrimp. Substrate hosts comparatively abundant shrimp, many different species. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not logging each individual shrimp? I was trying to. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't think it's worth it unless we zoom in on it. <laughs> Poor data logger. <laughs> Up to 2,000 shrimps. and <laughs> We're at um, 5, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 41. Yeah, 41. Yes. Does anyone, like, I've when they're counting by fives? You got it. Yeah. Does, when we were counting by fives, does anyone else, like, sing it? Like, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> shrimp. No? Um, what do you sing it to? What tune is that? I, the the f by five song. The by five oh. song? Oh, no. What's it like? Metric tune. Mm. Another C pen. Oh. Ed education Rock or something like that. Schoolhouse school yeah, Rock. Schoolhouse Rock. Was that one of the... I don't know. But I remember the Bill one. I'm just the, the Bill. Bill. Yeah, no, they're yeah, playing I'm Hide and Seek. The 5, 10, 15, 20 was a Hide and Seek one. Was it? Yeah. Uh, I know. I remember the Magic 3 ones. I don't really remember the tune, but I remember, like, Zoom the in, animation. Please. There's a 12 oh, toes one. Oh, no, the figure one. 8. Yeah. Oh, I remember uh, Conjunction Junction. Yeah, what's that what's function? Your function? Junction, what's your function? Junction, Junction. Crab. What's your function? In the summer cam. And button or. All right, thank you. <coughs> Do 
But the best. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs. Oh, that is. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is that one? Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. What's next to that cucumber? Let's zoom in on the next to the cucumber, please. Cucumber. Debris. 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 It seems like a dominant species here. Mm -hmm. The sea cucumber, together with the sea pen, and cool. the shrimp. crinoids and shrimps. What's that purple thing? A little black mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Michael's inspiration, I think. <laughs> oh, there's a cucumber that looked like it was about to take off. We have a happy deck frog today. Mm, yeah, H2000. Yeah, for anyone just tuning in, this is Hercules' 1,000th dive from the EV Nautilus. Zoom in, please. So, special dive. We are diving um, along the eastern edge of Johnson Atoll. Mm. We're currently at a depth of 1,111 mm. meters. Okay, thanks. This is the shallowest dive of this expedition so far. And we have seen 41 shrimp. And no purple holotherians. All the this light color. 42 shrimp. 43 shrimp. <laughs> 44 shrimp. No. Oh my gosh. The universe and everything. <laughs> I'm very oh, there's excited. another one. Fish. Shrimp. shrimp city. The shrimp count is scaring me. What is that floating in the top of Hercules? Oh, the top of Hercules. Let's go. Oh, it's oh. a jelly. There's no way. Yeah. Translucent. Let's see. Is that a big Where fish over there? Yes. It's a normal sized fish. <laughs> and I can't tell. I, I Can just we zoom wonder, in on this, please? I just wonder if all these shrimp we see is what we see normally, but we just can't see them. Or they're always there, but just because of the background, we can't see them. What is that? Is that a halosaur? No, I mean close. A little okay. floaty? Yeah. I think it's a Tino 4. Tino 4. Do you want okay. downlight? Sure, try it out. Boom. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting pulled by the tether. Boom. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, that's all we got. Great Thanks. zoom. A translucent <coughs> squishy. Yeah. That is a squishy. That that's is a squishy. Fully. Is it squishy or is it just you wouldn't feel anything? Oh, it's a cult jelly. I mean, it's like a, right. a I snot. I cannot really go this way anymore. I should just not. Why don't I just not? In the dictionary, it's a picture of a Tina 4 under squishy. <laughs> but is air squishy? What is... Is air squishy? Oh, there yeah. we go. When I think of squishy, I think of like some resistance. Yeah. That's what like makes it squishy. Totally. That's oh, why okay. I'm wondering if a Tina 4 is actually squishy. It's, it's more like a, a snot texture, sorry, if I use the uh, crudeness. Sea cucumber, that's some real squishy. Yeah. Right there. That's textbook squishy. Mm -hmm. We have a fish floating by. Straight ahead. Maybe Tina 4 is more gooey. Yeah, maybe. This is a different fish. Ooh. We can zoom on this fish, please. This is a different. Let's. Oh. oh. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. Look at the radar things. Pretty little whiskers. I want to squeeze it. No. Whoa. You know, like the cuteness aggression where you just want to like punch it in the face? No. <laughs> look the lateral line. Yeah, look at the current on this though. It's really going up up the that slope. That was uh, just me. Yeah, it was just you? Okay. Just me, yeah. 